हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू कैट प्रैक्टिस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ स्टील स्ट्रक्चर और अ स्टील स्टैंड इन ऑटोडेस्क इन्वेंटर सॉफ्टवेयर विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंसर्ट फ्रेम कमांड इन ऑटोडेस्क इन्वेंटर दिस विल प्रोवाइड यू द स्टैंडर्ड स्टील स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोफाइल्स और द हॉलो पाइप्स द स्टैंडर्ड हॉलो पाइप्स विच हैव बीन यूज इन इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद द ट्यूटोरियल टेक अ न्यू take a standard assembly in millimeter now in this we will create a new part we will take stand 1 2 it will ask you to the saving location so we will make a new folder always save the uh, assembly in a uh, same uh, same folder which will not break the link of the assemblies now save now press okay it will now now click now the part interface is been open now take a 2d sketch take the top plane rotate it take the rectangle command we are taking the two point center rectangle click on the center point by default the uh, unit is in inches so we'll go to tools document setting unit and we'll take the millimeter as unit and apply okay now go to sketch once again take the dimension give it a dimension of 1000 and this as 750 okay finish sketch now take the now we'll first do the sketching part only okay so take the 3d sketch take the line command select this edge select this plane and give a dimension of 500 mm okay select this line make a random line select this plane on which we want to construct okay select this line select this plane okay similarly select the line command once again this point plane and always follow this green line it will guide you to 90 degree okay as you see the, these lines are of with zero dimensions so we can change it to constrain them we'll take a equal constraint from here and select 500 dimension line and select these lines one by one so it will be equal to 500 similarly this line and this line now this is also equal to 500 and this line and this line so all of them are equal to 500 now now take the line command as now we have to make these supporting pipes so make a rectangular profile over here give a dimension of 200 select there and this okay now give a dimension of this also as 200 mm okay now similar profile will be constructed here so take the left plane start from this profile go here and here so now take give the dimension give this as 200 so this line is in moving state so as it is uh, towards the z axis so uh, take a parallel with z axis constraint and select this line so it's all fully constrained now select this edge you can just move so this is the final profile now take the mirror command select both these profiles select center plane we want to mirror it with respect to yz plane 
so the profiles will come here apply similarly select these profiles all four profiles and select the mirror plane now the mirror plane will be xy plane the profiles will come here and apply done so the sketching part is till here completed now finish sketch click on return it will come back to the assembly interface now we will go to design and go to intersect insert frame command it will ask you to save the assembly so just save the assembly in the folder which we have made previously now it will ask you to for the placement of the profiles and the type of profile you want we will take the 15 to 15 to 3 mm thick hollow pipe of mild steel so it will ask you for the placement like it's coming like this you can change the, the angle from here and we need at this point these points are for the orientation of the profiles click here click here select all four top profiles and apply ok and ok so it's made ok now go to view change the view from to shaded with edges now you can see it's a intersecting profiles to make it a proper joint profile go to design go to meter command select this profile this ok similarly this and this ok select this pipe and this ok it will make a edge of the welding edge and the intersect profile will be deleted select these two and ok ok it's been done now we'll go to intersect for legs we will go to intersect frame once again select this take the top plane as it's going outside select this point similarly for others select this and apply ok similarly take the intersect frame once again and we will now we'll take this point and for this apply ok and for this the point will be this you can see the top plane for orientation of all of them the profile should come within the top frame and apply ok now for these ribs go here and select the center it should also lie within the profile and apply always take the apply and don't come out of the command select this and go to select the top plane as you can see it is uh, not in a proper orientation now it's ok so we'll select this and apply ok similarly for this the orientation will be with respect to top plane here now 
now apply similarly we will do for this as well and select this point and apply ok so we have made so we have made for all this now for these profiles go to top plane select this and the angle you can adjust with respect to the requirement the this will be in a proper manner with 35 degrees apply similarly this to the plane select this point and the shift will be here to 55 degree apply ok do one thing you can mirror them so select this ok will come out of the command ok now select these two go to mirror and select the mirror plane will be now go to mirror plane visor plane and continue and ok ok till here it will be clear so now you can do one thing as these uh, all the profiles are intersecting with each other go to design take trim extend select these profiles select the face till which you want to trim them so they are now out from these profiles all of the four and ok similarly take the trim extend once again select these profiles select these members Okay, this and the this this and okay all are been selected and this and which one is left and this okay now trim up to select this face trim up to this and apply now you can see one thing now these are been trimmed here similarly we will trim this profile as well so select these profiles first this 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 profile this profile and this profile ok now you can see these two profiles are not getting selected I will tell you why because we have mirrored them so they, this will cause a problem no issue we will mirror them once the profiles have been completed now we will take the trim face no don't do like this go to trim extend select this profile and this profile and select the trim face as this back face ok don't select this face select this face as trim, surf, trim face and ok similarly go to trim extend once again select these profiles 
and select face for trim will be this face and ok ok there is some error so these are the mirror profiles which are getting not getting any sort of trim or extend so select this face select this profiles which you want to trim ok similarly trim this file ok this has been trimmed now these profiles also trim trim till this face this file ok and this profile take trim and this ok all of them are trim now we are left with the mirror profiles the mirror profiles are also been trimmed one by one so now hide these sketches hide both these sketches visibility off so this upper structure has been made now we want these end caps for end caps go to insert end cap select this face select this face select all bottom faces so by default I have taken a minus 10 mm offset from these faces so the end caps will be just click ok and this will be paste so the structure of the steel frame is been completed so I hope you like the video keep practicing on Autodesk Inventor which will make you more refined and perfect in Autodesk Inventor so I hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the cat practice channel for more such videos. Thank you.